Alrighty then guys, I'm going to make a raw pasta dish using two ingredients, zucchini and avocado. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the ends off of the zucchini. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just peel the skin off the zucchini. Then what I'm going to do is just use the peeler to peel strips off the zucchini. So just like this basically. So it comes out like that. This is going to be fettuccine style. I have a spiralizer to make like spaghetti, but um, I'm just going to use this uh, because if someone wants to do this, not everyone has a spiralizer, but most people have a peeler. So this is going to be like a raw fettuccine avocado type thing. So I have a bowl here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep peeling the zucchini into the bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here because this is going to take a minute. All right, so I got about two and a half zucchinis worth in there. I had a third zucchini, but it was bad, so I could only use like half of it. So I got that in one bowl. And the next thing I'm going to do is get the avocado ready. I'm just going to use a knife to cut it in half. And then, of course, you got the pit. And there you go. There's that little trick. And then I'm just going to go around with a spoon to get the avocado out. Put that in a different mixing bowl. And then this side as well. So now I have that in a mixing bowl. And I'm just going to use a fork to mash it up. Basically making one ingredient guacamole so there you go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clear bowl so you can see what's going on to mix them so there's the zucchini and I'm just going to put the mashed avocado in there so there's the zucchini and the mashed avocado. You could probably actually serve it like that and just mix it around when you're ready to eat it. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up like that. So when I get the avocado incorporated into the zucchini pretty well, get the zucchini covered an avocado that's probably good and now I'm just gonna plate it there's a little close-up of it and there you have it raw fettuccine avocado just gonna go ahead and try it here. That is good. That is good. That is good. That is good. Now, of course, this is a very basic recipe. You could add all kinds of stuff to this. A little salt, maybe. Um, make it more guacamole-ish. Uh, you can uh, sprinkle stuff on the plate to make it look all fancy, but I just wanted to post a simple raw food recipe because a lot of people think raw food is complicated and it can be if you do gourmet recipes, but stuff like this is easy. It's good to start with stuff like this. Um, I am not a raw foodist at this time. I'm just vegan with an interest in raw food. 
Um, I've been in a raw food since 2007, and basically I go back and forth with it. And um, lately I'm getting re-interested in raw food, and I'm just trying to re-familiarize myself with raw food recipes like this. I personally think a fruit-based diet is the best way to go with raw, but stuff like this, which kind of emulates cooked food, um, is fun to make and fun to make YouTube videos on and stuff. So I plan on making more raw food videos like this. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.